Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today, and this time it's actually going to be in the Catch Cup. Now, I know we're on the Halloween Cup as well as the Master League, but I wanted to do the, this Catch Cup video because Salazzle is in it. So Salazzle, that is what I'm talking about. This Pokemon is so cool. Incinerate and Poison Fang. It also has Dragon Pulse. Now, originally it was data mined to have Foul Play, but unfortunately they had removed that before it released. It would have been a lot better with Foul Play, but it's still really good. It takes two Incinerates to get the Poison Fang so fast. Uh, it is double weak to ground, so it really, really, really cannot take any ground attacks. It's really frail, but at the same time, it double resists charm, which obviously is going to help it out a lot. But anyway, we're in the Catch Cup, so basically you can only use Pokemon that you catch when the Catch Cup had begun. Uh, so anything before, you cannot use it. So uh, this team is going to be Shadow Marsh Tomp uh, with Salazzle and Banette, single moved Banette. So really cool as well. Uh, so we'll see how these battles play out. We will have Halloween Cup content moving forward and Master League as well. But uh, I, I would imagine mostly Halloween Cup. Uh, a lot of trainers probably play that, but we'll see. Uh, but either way, this battle is almost over. We're going to see a sludge from uh, that Marsh Tomp, and that is going to be uh, GG's. So very well played. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. My friend also got a female Salander. You need a female one, and then you need to evolve it. Uh, I'm not even going to go, I mean, I'm hatching eggs, but I'm not, like, you know, I I'm not investing uh, any money into incubators or anything like that, so that's just a personal choice on my end, um, you know, I'm, it's a very low chance that you'll hatch it to begin with, and even if you do hatch one, it's only a 12.5% chance that it's going to be female, so I'll get it when I get it. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a really cool Pokemon, and I really like it, and I think it's really good as well. Uh, so anyway, we're going to see a Poison Fang come in from Salazzle. Uh, so doing a decent amount, one more incinerate, able to get to another one, but the Thunder Punch is coming out. So this is going to KO, I did mention that it is really frail. Uh, so Machamp is coming in, out comes Bennett. So Bennett is doing a good job at double resisting these fighting attacks. Going to go ahead and shield, unfortunately it's a shield bait, but I mean it was worth the shield nonetheless because this Bennett can get to a Shadow Ball, which will KO the Machamp. Uh, they actually let that go as well, and then able to Shadow Claw it down. Uh, and that is going to be a great game, very well played. Moving on, Marsh Tomp into this Crobat. Okay. Um, yeah, this is not great. The Mud Shots are obviously double resisted. Oh, single resisted, I guess. And the Sludge is resisted as well. So, gonna go ahead and go for the Surf. That does a lot. And now we switch into this Salander. Oh, not Salander, but Salazzo. Um, Poison Fang. As I said, it is really frail, but look how much. How, look how fast it charges up. Right, look how fast it charges up. We do see a Dragon Pulse. They're going to be able to count it down. I mean, count it is resisted, but it was pretty low, so they do count it down. Uh, Marsh Tomp is going to go ahead and shield that. Going to be a power up punch, a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to see a Surf come in right now. We do see the shield wants to get to one more, but unfortunately not able to do so. However, the Marsh Tomp will go ahead and shield and bring in Bennett to Shadow Claw down, but they do get to an attack. Hopefully it's not a foul play. It is not. That is huge. Double resisted power up punch. In comes a Lolan Marowak. The only problem is the opponent still has a shield. So they do shield up that Shadow Ball. And all oh, they throw just at the perfect timing. This is gonna KO the Bennett. Shadow Ball, okay. Uh, so Marsh Tomb is going to go ahead and over farm. So uh, a Bone Club most likely would have KO'd the Bennett, but it's possible they have Fire Spin as well. Oh, not Fire Spin, but um, what is it? Fire Blast. Uh, so maybe, maybe they didn't have Bone Club, I don't know. But either way, great game, well played, uh, able to win that one. That was actually a very close one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the next battle. So it's going to be Marsh Tomp into Soul Rock, okay? I'll take that matchup, in comes Weeping Bell, out comes Solanded. oh, you love to see it, Solanded also double resist uh, grass attacks, but look how much damage that did, just because of how frail Salazzle Sol is, I, maybe I call it Solanded here and there in this video, I don't know, but uh, either way, totally fine, uh, able to debuff that Solak, you love to see it, uh, and in comes Marsh Tomp, Marsh Tomp is going to go ahead and go for this Surf, uh, so in comes Victor Bell. Ooh, Weeping Bell and Victor Bell. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, but unfortunately, that Victor Bowie is going to be able to win. So he had this Salan, uh, Salazzo, but unfortunately not able to win that one. But that's okay. Moving on, a bad matchup. We do see a switch into Minette. Out comes a Lolan Mux. So, of course, this is not good. This Minette is single moved. It does have Thunder as well, but this one does not. Uh, but that still does a lot of damage. Minette is very, very powerful. A Lolan Mux. Going to go ahead and go for the Acid Spray. Huge call not to shield that. So gonna go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball. So this obviously KOs. If they shield, I think the Muck wins this matchup. Uh, it does win it barely, uh, but it does win it. Uh, Moshchomp wants to go ahead and snipe down, but unfortunately they get to a move. Gonna be a Dark Pulse, doing a lot of damage. Going to switch out right now, uh, but in comes Cradilly and out comes Jellicent. Ooh, not really good. I mean that, mm, we'll see, we'll see. So we're gonna see the Poison Fang bait. Unfortunately, they do not shield. However, the Dragon Pulse, this is going to probably KO. Oh my gosh, it does KO. Uh, they do not shield that as well. Maybe they're not familiar with Salazzle's attacks. I don't know. But either way, that is totally fine. Maybe they thought it was a bait as well. Could go either way. We're going to see the Poison Fang that will get the shield. Oh, they tried to switch. Not able to do so. But Salazzle will go ahead and shield this. I cannot wait to get this Pokemon. Again, I'm in no rush to get it. Even though I really do want to use it for like the Open Great League. Even the Halloween Cup, I would love to use it. Uh, but I'm not going to invest money into it. Just a personal choice. If you choose to, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not shaming anybody. You you do you. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, that's personally what I am doing. Uh, so we do see a switch into Bennett. Okay, so Bennett will be hit with uh, a Leaf Blade. Oh my gosh. That does so much damage. Crystal is coming in. Um, and in comes Mushtoom. Mushtoom wants to get off the surf. And it's going to be able to do so as well. Uh, doing a lot of damage. Uh, so Lorantis is coming in, going to be hit with a Sludge, super effective damage, we'll see if they shield, they do not, uh, it doesn't KO, it's not the strongest move, right, so it doesn't KO, Leaf Blade will get the shield, in comes Salandit, and uh, Salazzle, excuse me, I don't know why I want to call it Salandit, but Leaf Blade double resisted, out comes Alolan Marowak, and the opponent will concede, you know, it's interesting because Salazzle does not have that foul play, it has Dragon Pulse, but I guess they, uh, they did not think they could win that, uh, but either way, we're going up in the next battle against a Kanto Raichu. Well, I'm not going up against it. This trainer is. Uh, so we're going to see a Surf come in. They did switch out into Wishcash. That's not bad. Uh, so Bennett is going to come in. Try to get to a Shadow Ball. But an attack comes out. This is probably the Mud Bomb. It is able to take that. They do have another Mud Bomb, though. Really unfortunate. So Bennett will go ahead and shield it. And it will farm up and go for the Shadow Ball right now. This is definitely going to KO. We know that. It does KO, and in comes Raichu, able to get to another Shadow Ball though, absolutely incredible. So this Shadow Ball is going to connect, no it's not, it does get the shield, yep, makes sense. Uh, Marsh Tomp is coming in, going for the Surf. Uh, Marsh Tomp does resist electric attacks, I don't think they, they can farm down, so they do have to throw an attack. This is going to KO, but you just let this go. Uh, bring in Salazzle, so Salazzle will go ahead and shield this one up. Going to be a wild charge, that probably would have KO'd to be honest. But Incinerate will be able to knock it out. Gonna go ahead and go for the Poison Fang. So Poison Fang and then Dragon Pulse likely enough, right? Oh, come on. You can get to it. Yes, you can. Able to get to the Dragon Pulse. Even though this is a really frail Pokemon, it's really powerful. That is going to KO. That is going to be a great game. Charges up fast. Super powerful. I can't wait to get my hands on one. Uh, so gonna be really exciting. Okay. So going up against Alolan Ninetales, it is the Powder Snow variant, and of course this Marsh Tomp does have Sludge, super effective. So we'll see, um, it's possible that they're not familiar with the moveset, this is not a common Pokemon. So we'll see if they shield, they do shield, okay nice shield by the opponent, but we do have another Sludge ready to go. Uh, so this Sludge will connect, doing a lot, but not enough to KO. Oh, Salazzo coming in trying to incinerate down, but they do get off a Weather Ball. Oh no, a Psy Shock. Oh my gosh, it almost KOs. So Loma Mola coming in. Really not good. Uh, in comes this Bennett. Bennett wants to get off a Shadow Ball. It's going to over farm. It's going to definitely have to shield this. Uh, so going to be a Psychic. Bennett is really frail as well. This whole team generally is, is really frail, but we do see a Shadow Ball. And trying to get to one more. Desperately trying to get to it. Able to get to it. Very nice. Uh, so Shadow Ball will be enough to KO that Aloma Mola. Going to be able to switch out. Oh, and Alolan Malwak. Alolan Malwak makes sense for the Catch Cup only because it is in the, the research breakthrough. So a lot of people have access to it, right? It's in that research box. Uh, so it's probably one of the more common Pokemon for that reason. 
Uh, so both of those go down, and that is going to be a good game. We're going to go ahead and move into the next battle. So Moshomp into a Christmas Raichu. Okay, very nice. Christmas Raichu. Raichu is going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. Going to be a Wild Charge. Doing a lot of damage. Well, okay. I, I didn't see what came in, but whatever came in will be hit with a Sludge. It's going to be that Alola Ninetales. Uh, in comes this Incinerate. Use that and able to Incinerate all the way down. Absolutely amazing. Gonna go ahead and go for the Poison Fang. It's almost that it needs one more incinerate for another Poison Fang. Unfortunately, these moves are all resisted. Yes, yeah, Steel resists all these moves. Well, no, it doesn't resist incinerate, but it resists the Dragon Pulse and the Poison Fang. Uh, but the incinerates are doing a lot, uh, I guess. So we're gonna see another Poison Fang. Oh, another shield, absolutely amazing. So Salazzle definitely doing its job there. Gonna bring in Marsh Tomb. Just take the attack, let it go. Gonna be a crunch, and a Shadow Claw down. Because keep in mind, it is debuffed. They do get off an attack. Bennett does have to shield this. Uh, so it's going to be a crunch. And in comes Raichu. Raichu will be hit with the Shadow Ball right now. Uh, that is going to KO. And uh, that's going to be a good game. Very well played to both trainers. They are unable to win that one. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and move into the next one. Marsh Tomb into Talonflame. Really good matchup. They do switch out into Gadilly. Out comes this uh, Bennett. And Bennett will be hit with an attack. Bennett is going to go ahead and shield this one up. Going to be a Grass Knot. Uh, but Bennett, as we know, is really, really, really... Did I say really frail? So Shadow Ball will get the shield. Uh, they do go ahead and go for an attack. And we're going to see another shield from the Bennett. Going to be another Grass Knot. Uh, Shadow Ball is going to KO or get the final shield. I think Credulli makes it to the, the move before Bennett does. It does. Okay, so Bennett is going to go ahead and take this. I think it KOs. Uh, yeah, it does. But in comes Salazzle, and Salazzle trying to incinerate down. It can't do it, but a Grass Knot is double resisted. Uh, still does a good amount for being double resisted, though, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and see this Poison Fang come in right now. And that's going to be doing a good amount of damage. We do see the Marsh Tom. Wigglytuff is coming out. Ooh, you definitely want that Salazzle on that Wigglytuff for sure. Gonna be able to go for another attack, but continuing to overfarm, going for the Surf, I really like that overfarm. Because of how slow Incinerate is, I think they make it, they do make it. Uh, that's a Fire Spin um, Talonflame, and that makes sense, because you probably don't want to use an Elite TM on this Pokemon to get uh, to get the Incinerate onto it right now, because you probably already have one built, right? Uh, so Wigglytuff coming in, out comes Salazzle. Salazzle still taking a lot of damage, but again, this is a good matchup regardless because Incinerate, Poison Fang, uh, double resisted, going to be able to win it. And that is totally fine. We're going to see this attack come in right now. Uh, going to be a Dragon Pulse, very nice. Able to get to a Poison Fang, that is incredible. So let's see if they shield or if they call this. They do shield, huge, huge. Uh, so Marsh Tomp is coming in. Uh, we're going to see an attack come in. Wild Charge? No Rock Blast. That is resisted. Uh, Aridos is coming in. Out comes the Surf. This should be a good game. Let's see. Surf is going to connect. Going to switch out and Shadow Claw down. Not going to shield it. Okay. Just going to take this Cross Poison. Um, that's totally fine. Another attack. Still going to go ahead and take it. It's probably a Cross Poison. It is. Uh, so in comes a Lolan Golem, and we're going to see a Shadow Ball come out from this Bennett. That's going to be a great game and a great video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.